Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and this is going to be a guide on basically how to kill Krill in the God Wars dungeon, who is the Sammy General. Okay, so the stat requirements that I personally recommend is a minimum of 85 plus combat stats, 70 plus prayer, 92 mage for blood barrage, because it makes you last longer and have longer trips. However, you can go with lower levels. The weapon I recommend you to use is the Arc Light because it deals 70% more accuracy on demon creatures and is very strong. However, for your special attack weapon, I recommend the Dragon Warhammer, and if you don't have that, you can use the Arc Light special attack. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be going over is what to bring. Uh, I highly recommend that you're on the Slayer task because with the Slayer helmet, you will be dealing about 16% more damage and 16% more, more accuracy on the boss himself because he's a greater demon. And also on one of the minions, it's going to be the melee minion. So go ahead and be on a greater demon task because it's going to help you kill the boss much more efficiently. The next thing I want to recommend is for you to bring uh, Carol's top and bottom to protect to protect against the mage damage as well as a dragon fire shield to protect against the melee minion and the range damage. You're going to want to bring some primordials if you have them. If not, dragon boots are fine. Ring of suffering is great for the defense and the prayer bonus. And uh, I bring the magic uh, zami cape imbued. I usually bring a fire cape switch. The only reason why I have that in my inventory is because I will be doing blood barrage on the minions and it gives me 5% more magic bonus. However, when I show you my inventory, you will notice that I will have a fire cape as well. I bring a holy blessing to protect against the Saradomen um, creatures inside the God Wars dungeon and obviously the Zami cloak protects me against Zami. You don't need to bring any of the other items, just Sarah and Zami is recommended. Next is of course your Barrow's gloves and then you're going to want to bring a um, Dragon War hammer for your special attacks. Now I'm going to be going more in depth on what to bring in your inventory. I do have, however want to mention that some people recommend bringing full tank gear and protecting mage on the boss. I highly don't recommend that, especially as an Iron Man, because it's most likely that you don't have full Justicar. Uh, the only tank gear setup that would be good for Zami is full Justicar and an Elijah or Dragonfire Shield. However, most Iron Man do not have this, so I think it's best to bring Carols for having a longer tri trip. Now you may ask why I'm bringing an Amulet of Fury instead of an Amulet of Torture. Most Ironmans don't have an Amulet of Torture because of the crafting level. I do, however, I don't bring it because Fury gives plus 10 defense bonus, which the uh, Torture does not. And Fury is great because it also gives you that plus 10 magic bonus for when you switch to do Blood Barrage. Okay, so this is the inventory set that I personally use. I have the Arc Light for a switch. And then I have an anti-poison because Krill will poison you, so you always need to bring one of those. Uh, also a super attack, which you can bring a super attack strength and defense if you can't make those. Uh, three super restores, three brews, and two, three prayer pots. And then I bring the rest anglers with my blood broad runes and my house teleport. I bring a Kodai wand, however you can bring a master's wand or simply, um, you know, some kind of staff, an ancient staff. I also bring my Ancestral Top, however you can bring an Aram's Top, and then I bring my Fire Cape Switch for my melee uh, bonus, and currently I have my Zam Samrock uh, Cape for my Mage bonus, and also for my protection going into Zami. Okay, in this club I'm going to be showing you how I get to Zami. There's a couple of different ways you can do it, this is just how I do it. I teleport to my house, and I completed a quest named Making Friends with My Arm, and that allowed me to unlock this trollium teleport in my house. It still is a little bit of a run though, so you may still want to consider doing a scroll of redirection on your house telly and doing that to trollium. Now, you do need to have the quest Edgar's Ruse done to teleport to trollium, or you need to have the quest Making Friends with My Arm if you're going to be using the route that I use. This is just what I prefer because I don't like using scrolls of redirection because I don't do much Nightmare Zone. So you're just going to follow my character and we're going to be heading to God Wars Dungeon. If it's your first time heading to God Wars Dungeon, please bring a rope. A lot of people tend to forget that. I always <laughs> recommend that you go and use the rope first and then go get your gear and go start bossing. So once you get to this little crevice in this path, there's going to be trolls that throw Throw rocks at you so you're gonna want to protect range right now I was just walking to save some run energy and then we we're going to be heading to the rock and you either need 70 strength or 70 agility to get past 
There's a little crevice on the side there, um, which requires the 70 agility, but we're going to be using the strength method, uh, method so you need one or the other. <clears throat> so once we get through, there's going to be some wolves in here. You're going to want to protect melee. Now, if you haven't done the quest Making Friends with My Arm, you will take damage from the bad weather, and also you will lose your run energy. However, I have the quest done. So now you're going to run down here, and you're going to go where my character is, and this is where we're going to be getting KC for Zami. Make sure you have your Sarah items so you're not attacked. You can also get your Zami KC further in the cave. However, I like doing it here because the Sarah Doman minions help you kind of kill the Zami minions. You need 40 KC, and you can attack the Ice Fiend and the werewolves and the Gorax and uh, the vampires also the blood belt so there's a big variety that you can kill here and the Saradoma minions will help you out I also quickly want to uh, mention that even though Zami KC is the second fastest to get after Bando's KC you can get ecumenical keys in the wild from killing um, basically minions in the wild and they'll drop a key and that will allow you to access any kind of boss in God Wars dungeon without getting 40 KC. This is really recommended in case you die you can quickly run in and pick up your items. However, Zamorak KC is so fast to get, I don't think it's really necessary. The only times I really get ecumenical keys is when I'm doing Armadil or Sarah. Although, it's up to you, and there's a couple guides on YouTube on how to do that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just showing what I do, and I simply get 40 KC for Zami. Okay, so I'm going to go over a quick overview of Krill. This is what he looks like, and when you go in, you're going to be protecting melee and using Piety to attack him. Go ahead and unleash your specs, and I'm going to be showing you all of you guys this in the video. However, I do want to mention that, in my opinion, Zami is the second hardest boss to solo out of the four God Wars dungeon bosses. He is very he has a very lower defense, so he's easy to hit. However, his KO potential is huge. And therefore, if you are hardcore Iron Man, I highly recommend you get a lot of practice on a main account or regular Iron Man before you attempt this boss. His max hit without prayer is probably in the 70s and with prayer I think is in the 50s so be extremely careful and he's so frustrating because he can hit a 47 on you and then melee you for a 30 or his minions can hit you for a 17 and a 20 and those that damage stacks up repeatedly and personally he's my least favorite boss to solo I just want to put this out there that the KO potential is huge and during your first couple attempts it is likely that you will die however you'll get the hang of it so basically keep your hit points up for this boss okay so once you run north you are going to cross this bridge and it's like an ice bridge and you're going to jump over you need at least 70 hit points to cross which shouldn't be a problem you're going to lose all of your prayer so if you want to go ahead and use that prayer up when you're getting kc by all means do it you can also get kc in this layer as i mentioned but you won't have any of that great assistance by the Doman minions so basically i'm just walking in through here to save some of my run energy and i'm going to start brewing up which i highly recommend and get your prayer up so you can drink restore and etc here I drank my prayer to full however for Zami you actually want to keep your prayer kind of low because he takes he takes your prayer away very quickly and it depends on your total amount of prayer points okay so I want to be showing a couple kills into this trip and first you want to protect melee and if you're running in when he's in there, you want to make sure you have prayer up and you want to use your specs. However, my specs not up, so I'm just kind of hitting him with the arc light. With Zami, you generally want to hit him for two hits and then run under him. So you're going to hit him for twice and then you're going to walk under. That's the general kind of routine that you want. Make sure Piety's on because that will help you hit a lot better. Hit hitting your Warhammer spec will also help you a lot on this boss. But as you can see, I'm just kind of hitting twice and running under. I really recommend that you eat and you pray up when you're underneath him and not while you're just wide in the open and while he's whacking you. Okay, here I'm going to speed up the rest of the boss and show you all how to kill the minions and how I basically blood barrage them down to get back my health. Okay, so once Sammy is down... <laughs> Sometimes the kills can take a while, especially if you don't hit your Warhammer. Your Warhammer does a big difference on these guys. Okay, now here what I'm going to do is basically line up the melee minion with the ranger, like this, back to back. And when you blood barrage them, it should hit both of them. 
I would like to add that in this video, you should not be protecting melee. I don't really know what I was doing. You should be prioritizing mage. The major is the black demon. The melee is the one that's meleeing me. And the ranger is kind of the smaller red demon that's throwing the snowball at me. But yes, always protect mage as a priority. And that's basically how I get full health up on these guys. And then I take down the major last. Uh, I hope this guide really helped you guys out. I have also all the other guides on the God Wars dungeon bosses on my channel. This is officially the last boss that I needed to make a video for. So if you enjoyed my style and kind of how I did this uh, guide, feel free to check those out on my YouTube channel. And if you want to catch my future videos, feel free to subscribe. I have a Twitter where I post updates in IRL and on RuneScape on that so you can follow me and I'll post that in the description below. And I'll also uh, post my Twitch and maybe you can catch me live streaming sometime. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope this helped y'all a bunch. And uh, happy uh, grinding on your Iron Man. Thanks guys.